of course, he is playing Han Solo. And with more on that is Saint and a friend in a galaxy far, far away. Thank you, Saint. By the way, Alden signed a three-movie deal with Disney, so you can expect more Han Solo in your future. And Solo, A Star Wars Story opens this Friday. Well, of course, the Seattle International Film Festival is already in full swing, and you can experience it in a really interactive way here at the VR Zone. Are you ready? Yeah, walking through it. Here we are. Open this up. Get you in. If you're new to virtual reality, this is a gentle introduction. Feels like I'm floating. A hot air balloon ride, the first of dozens of experiences inside the SIF VR zone. We have experimental storytelling and we have documentary. We have uh, immersive narrative experiences. In some cases, it's almost like a movie that you can live. Like the piece called Greenland's Melting. This is more of a documentary, so it's an interactive documentary where we've merged two type of ideas, gameplay with the idea of telling this really real story that's necessary right now about climate change. Here you fly over glaciers and stand on the ice. Rather than passively looking at this world, you're a part of it. So it kind of shows you the impact of being there. Yeah. There's also a living art installation where you're encouraged to explore the artifacts. And then once you're ready, then you put the headset on and you get to see the story behind this. And it all makes sense. 36 unique experiences in all. The next frontier in storytelling. Wow. That'll stay with visitors. That's crazy. That was amazing. Long after the headgear comes off. We hope they're leaving with some inspiration and want to create some worlds of their own. There is so much to experience here. You probably can't do it all in one visit. So come and then come again. The CIFIR Zone is open now through June 10th. And we have all the information you need on our website, king5evening.com. Well, hopefully our next story might convince you to make it dinner and a movie because we are talking to Chef Scott Staples, who has been running restaurants here in Seattle for more than 20 years. But tonight, he's sharing with us his favorite places to go eat. It's this week.